Miracy. I'm Debbie Allen, and you're listening to Making It. And I run a business where I am called an expert that is the number one authority on expert positioning. I barely passed high school. And I remember my English teacher telling me, if you don't pass this next test, you're not going to graduate. Well, uh, I'd like to see that teacher right now because I'm on writing book number 10. (laughs) I always walked away from those doomsayers or was kind of like use the doomsayers to say, "Ah, let me show you, I can do this. So I always had this independent spark in me. I knew from a very early age that I did not want to apply for a job. I have never applied for a job in my life. I have to spell it. It's terrifying. It's just not my style. It's great for a lot of people. But for me, I just had this independent spirit from, from a young age that I guess even in school, I didn't want to learn what I had to learn. I wanted to learn what I wanted to learn. And I've done that throughout my entrepreneurial career, building and selling companies. So I, I was with a family business from 19 and building that from five cars to 250 cars, building our mini storage facilities first uh, in Northwest Indiana outside of Chicago. And then we sold those a few years later to a big company called Public Storage. And that was my first million dollar sale before the age of 30. And so I was ready to leave and go out on my own for the next journey. I was not good in school because I was terrible at memorizing. So, you know, here's the way I look at it. And not everybody's going to love what I have to say, but I will tell you the way I think about it is just because you're really good at memorizing things, you might get straight A's, you might fly through high school and college and, and do great. But if you don't have any common sense and any business sense in the world, that degree is going to be absolutely nothing. Because you get out and then you got to go look for a job. You know, if you don't have the social skills or the relationship building skills, see, entrepreneurs love to build relationships and connections. So there's a lot of different skill sets that they are taught that people aren't taught that, you know, take the path of going, you know, I'm going to get a college and I'm going to get a great job. It's a different, completely different path to take. And I think it's becoming harder and harder to make that happen. I wanted to do what I wanted to do basically is this independence, I think. And I think that's the true sign of an entrepreneur. You know, it don't have to have a rule of making it, you know, this podcast is all about making it right. I didn't have to rule like I had to do this. I had to check this box. I had to go to college. I had to, you know, I just jumped in and learned from grassroots, you know, just being in the trenches. And, and I, one of the things I learned very early on was you got to do whatever it takes. And that's what entrepreneurs have to think about. If you're going to make it in this world, you got to do whatever it takes, you know, not everything is going to be pleasant. Not everything is going to be easy. But, you know, throughout, uh, there's going to be challenge and obstacles that are thrown in front of you all the time. And it's how you deal with it and how bad you want it is what's going to keep you going. And that's a different type of thinking that an entrepreneur has that it's like, well, there's not another option. Like, we're going to make this happen. When I was getting ready to leave the family business, I was 30. And I remember what my dad said to me, you better make this more than just a hobby. And I was like, whoa. I mean, part of it was he was a little ticked off that I was leaving, right? And a little bit of a dream stealer. My husband at the time, I'm spelling that out at the time, (laughs) was a dream stealer as well. He says, I'm not going to sign for a loan for you to have a business. I don't want you to have that. And I'm like, fine, I'll just go do it by myself. So I go do this smart thing. I go buy a business, a retail clothing store that lost money for six years. Smart that my dad said, make it more than a hobby. So I would go to these trade shows and I would go to these sales booths and I would say, hey, can I work your booth? Because I want to meet some of your best retailers. And then they'd say, well, yeah, okay. So I got to learn the business from both sides. I met some amazing people and I got invited into a group called Fashion Alliance that met in Chicago every month. And I just thought this was going to be one amazing dinner and that was going to be it, right? And then they invited me to join. It was like a mastermind on steroids. Everybody there had 15 to 30 years experience. I had six months. I was clueless, the youngest by far. And they said, we're going to take you under a wing and allow you to fly with us because we see your passion. We see that your vision for success. And, you know, we kind of take it for granted. Our business, we've been doing it for so long. And you're going to inspire us to do better. I was like, wow. And that group did change my life. I took it from $100,000 my first year to $2.5 million in two years. And then I just kept building and selling retail stores. 
until I was ready for the next chapter of my life and the next mentor of my life. What I really love about my work is not only just making a difference in people's lives, is that I teach people to become experts. So they call me the expert of experts. So I develop expertise through people. I help them develop their brand, find a direction they can own, and then teach them all the skills and put it all together for them. So every time I create a new expert out there, I create thought leaders who make a difference. And some are life coaches and some are business people, some are doctors. I mean, a very diverse uh, group of people. But every person I help helps a lot more people so that you know, there's this huge expansion of what I do because they now share what I've taught them in their way. So that to me is what I love the most. I'm working with the type of people that will make a difference with other people. And that's how you can touch more lives. You can't just touch people's lives one person at a time or one book at a time, one podcast at a time. Although I hope you're getting some great tips from this to make you move and take some action. But what really makes a difference is having kind of this force out there that is continually changing people's lives. And that, that's why I get up every day and do what I do. You know, making it means that you've arrived, right? You have something that you own. See, what I teach people, I've been speaking professionally and mentoring businesses for over 25 years. And, you know, what I help them do is find something that they can totally own. Because when you can find an expertise, an area, a path, a passion that you can teach other people, and then you start seeing that momentum happening, not just for yourself, but for other people, and that people recognize you for your expertise, your title, your brand. And it's like, wow, you know, when you keep hearing like, I've heard of you somewhere, you know, it's like, you know, you're out there, you know, that you made it. And it's not write the next book or do the next thing. It's like when you're in my world, when you're really recognized as a true authority, especially an international authority. You know, it took me a long time to say, you know, making it meant for me to say I claimed the title of the world's number one authority on expert positioning. You know, that's because I've been teaching it and teaching other people it for 10 years um, and I've got it dialed in. And so that's when you know you made it because you made it for other people, not just for yourself. I think that everybody has talents that they take for granted or they just haven't utilized in a way that they can really monetize from that. It's no accident. You're listening now because you're supposed to pay attention to what your gifts are and making sure that you're using those gifts at the best of your ability because you're put on this planet to make a difference. And if you want to make it, you got to make a difference in other people's lives and find a way that your uniqueness can really do that. And it doesn't matter age. It doesn't matter where you live. and It doesn't matter the economy. It matters about what you think about yourself and how much you want it. You know, I think that one of the things that all of my clients have in common is they're really passionate. They're really coachable because they want to make it. They're willing to do whatever it takes. And I have that in a conversation when I, my first interview with people, I make sure they're coachable. I make sure they're ready for that because if they're not, I don't want to work with them because I can't help people that aren't ready. And they always say, you know, when you're ready, the teacher will appear. And I believe that's so true because you find those people. And I knew that myself as many of the mentors that I worked with is that when I was ready, I wanted to learn that next thing. I'd find that person that could help me and take me to the next level. And I knew how that changed my life. I'm Debbie Allen, the number one authority on expert positioning. And you've been listening to Making It. You can find me, learn more about what I do at DebbieAllen.com, D-E-B-B-I-E, A-L-L-E-N dot com. Making It is part of the Mira CFM podcast network, which also includes such shows as Course Lab and Once Upon a Business. This episode of Making It was assembled by Jeff Govertson. Cynthia Lamb produced the episode. Danny Bermont is our associate producer. Danny Eney is our executive producer. Post-production by Post Office Sound. To catch the great episodes that are coming up on Making It, go ahead and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you're listening right now. And if you like the show, please leave us a starred review. It's the best way to help us get these ideas to more people. Thank you. We'll see you next time.